Okay, we're out at the home of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Britsky. Um, funny enough, we just uh, got a job started for Chuck Calvin, who is the president of Spa Glass. And uh, um, Roy Britsky is also in, uh, in uh, management there with Spa Glass. Both of them have been with the company for th some 30 plus years. So, kind of weird coincidence to have them both kind of in the same week. But uh, so, we're looking at doing uh, windows and a siding project out here. Um, beautiful uh, little house out here in Atkins. And um, looking at doing right now, basically, they have some vinyl. Uh, soffits, porch ceilings, and then an aluminum fascia. Uh, it's an eight-inch fascia, no drip edge. Um, really, no room to put a drip edge. There's, it's most likely a one by eight fascia underneath this aluminum, and it's pretty much run right up to the shingle line. So, uh, we'd be going back with a fascia replacement, um, and then underneath, uh, doing a soffit, um, hardy soffit. Uh, everywhere else hardy porch everywhere else um, there is no soffit it's open rafter tails and um, you know with the uh, with the, the vinyl laid over that so that's kind of what we're looking at and then of course doing all the windows um, on the house and the detached garage and then doing a porch ceiling on the front and then also in the breezeway uh, between the house and the garage so that's kind of what we're looking at um, uh, starting out basically here on this front window here we'd be going to a gliding picture window and a 111 ratio um, this porch banister is new the white part now the, the columns the four bys uh, are all needing to be painted they're doing a color change she has a really nice color scheme picked out um, so those will have to be painted and basically anything that's blue is either getting tossed or painted um, so that's kind of the situation here with these front porch columns. <clears throat> uh, any of the twin 3050s, we're going to a single gliding unit, 72 by 59. Everything else is pretty much either a 3050, there's one 3259, and then we have a couple smaller 3x3s three uh, on the back uh, in the garage. So we got one more twin here that will become a gliding unit. Uh, the gable vent up here, we can just paint that. Now there are some gable vents in the, in the vinyl siding that uh, we'll have to change. You can see right here, pretty common with vinyl. Uh, we got a piece, I think that's new. I don't think when I did my walk around uh, when I first got here with, uh, with Carol that that piece had fallen out. But there is a piece, there's a piece of the aluminum fascia that's ripped right here. And then right there, about three feet up, uh, the vinyl soffit is actually coming out of place. So I just noticed that right now, and I don't think that was like that when I walked around. Uh, they just had the house leveled, so they're about four to six weeks from being able to do any siding work. Um, but this is one of the two areas of siding, actual sidewall siding, that will be replaced. The rest is just basically facial, uh, excuse me, facial replacement and soffit. So you see a lot of cracks in the mortar and the rock, and that's basically just from the leveling that they just, like literally just had done. Beautiful house though, gorgeous inside. Um, here we got another twin set. Again, just our, it's about a foot and three quarter soffit, uh, eight inch fascia. <laughs> got a whole slew of projects going on. Next will be the roof. Um, that will be well after the siding though, so no conflict there. Again, we got three twins back here. Those will all become gliding units. We got our fascia. Garden window is going to change to a gliding unit. Um, I'm going to do a white exterior and a white interior color. Uh, back door is good. They're going with an iron door for the front door. So uh, we talked about uh, front door company and also San Marcos um, to do the uh, the iron front door for them. All this porch ceiling up in here. Um, I have I wasn't able to tell if there was anything uh, any decking or anything in there, but this will all become a hardy porch. This will all be your soffit here, kind of where that crease, the seam is. Uh, we got the separation between soffit and porch ceiling there. All the windows on the garage here, these are all 3 by 3s Those will all become picture windows. They don't open them. Um, so those will all be picture windows on the detached garage. We're doing prairie grills in all the windows, which will look awesome. Be a really nice change from this Colonial. Now we do have 11 windows total that have this capping on them and that right now is an aluminum so wherever we see that this window that window that window on the side uh, a couple
couple random ones. This one here on the garage, that far one on the garage, not this one. Um, it will have that capping. We're just going to face that with Hardy and get rid of that aluminum. <clears throat> Ooh, it's chilly. Uh, this security light will be put back up, so any lights or anything um, can be re reattached after the, uh, the work is done. Again, we have that capping up on this one. And these are all 3 by 3s uh, picture windows with the prairie. Every window will have the prairie grill. And she's clear on the fact that uh, on the, the single hung operators uh, in the Series 2, it will be a, uh, a, true a true prairie, not a modified prairie. So we did talk about that. We're good to go. We've got two garage door frames here that need to be wrapped. Uh, again, just soffit fascia, pretty straightforward. Really nicely taken care of home. Um, did a good job maintaining it. Uh, the original owners, they built it themselves. Uh, so now just looking for the maintenance and just not having to fool with stuff. Maintenance free. And then over here, here we have a little bay window. Uh, this is the, the center window is a 32. The flankers are 36. And then here we do have a capping on that. These two posts will have to be painted. This garage entry door will be painted with the brick mold, um, as will this one here. And then basically, this is the last spot. This little gable end here is the last uh, siding area. And you can see that vent up there. It looks to be a vinyl from down here, so I don't know if... Uh, I guess if we can reuse it, if they opt to reuse it or just replace it, but uh, either way, it's going to have to go, uh, you know, not on top of the vinyl like it is now. We'll have to fabricate that somehow closer to the wall and then uh, seam the hardy up to that and seal it so it's a, a really nice weather barrier there. Um, but that uh, that blue will go away, so in worst case, it'll be painted. Um, option of just completely entirely replacing it with a new vent system. But we do want to keep the the gable vents. Uh, that's what we have. We got some good porch ceiling under here. <clears throat> so we have all this porch that is vinyl now. You can see it's sagging and waving and all kinds of stuff just from the heat. And when the wind blows, you can hear it under here, uh, which means it got some good ventilation going on, I think. But um, you know, all this will become a hardy porch in the cedar uh, cedar mill. And you can see this, this banister is all new. So we're not going to wrap. We talked about that. We're not going to wrap the posts, but we are going to paint them. And then here we are back to the uh, picture, gliding picture. So that's pretty much what we have for scope of work. Um, uh, Carol enjoyed meeting with you today, and uh, we'll look forward to doing a follow-up with Roy. Uh, he was uh, busy at work, but uh, we'll look forward to doing a follow-up visit and going over the more detailed kind of scope of work. So appreciate the uh, time today, guys, and we really look forward to, uh, to working for you. Thanks so much.